Do you utilize ActiveCampaign? Let me show you how to integrate it with Jotform Sign. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new sign document. So I'm gonna go up to the top left-hand corner where it says my forms and we're gonna choose my sign documents. Then the top left-hand corner, the green create sign document. Now, if you already have a document that you would personally like to use, you can always utilize the upload document option. But for this example, we're gonna go ahead and utilize a template. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and utilize this very first one, the one page lease agreement. And one thing I like to do whenever I come into any sign document, I always like to take a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So down here at the bottom, I can see that the tenant is in purple. And up here at the top, we also have the tenant. So I need to go ahead and change this over to be the tenant. And because we're using this with our email marketing, we need to be sure to add the email field. Let me go ahead and drag and drop this right over here. And we can see it's already programmed in as the tenant, which is perfect. Now let's get this integrated with Active Campaign. First thing you wanna do is go up to the top middle tab, settings, then on the far left, integrations. Then we're gonna choose the integrations on the left-hand side. And from here, we can either utilize the search option at the top, but I see Active Campaign right here at the top, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose right here. Next, we'll need to authenticate our account. So you're going to need your AP URL and your API key. So in order to find those in Active Campaign, you're gonna to head to the gear in the bottom left-hand corner and you're gonna choose developer. So I already have mine, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose to authenticate. Now from here, we get to choose which action we want to take. And there are multiple actions that we can choose from. So let's go ahead and choose the first one, create or update a contact. Now, the first one is going to be to select a list we want to add them to. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose my master contact list. And then we get to select a tag if we'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and choose my new customer tag. And then we're gonna go ahead and utilize the tenant email. And we're gonna change this from me to the tenant. Perfect. And then if we need to add more fields, we can always do that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and choose to save. Perfect. Now you can see we can also do more within this as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose another one. And with this one, let's go ahead and add them to an automation. I'm gonna go ahead and choose them to jump into the new customer automation. And then the email that we are going to use is the tenant and leasee. So let's go ahead and save and complete integration. Perfect, we are good to finish. So now I'm gonna head up to the send tab and I'm gonna go ahead and choose my tenant. And as of right now, if I hit send to sign, both of these people are going to get it at the exact same time. If I want one person to sign first and then someone second, we wanna turn on the signing order right here. So now me as the landlord, I'm gonna get it first and then my tenant's gonna get it second. So we'll do send to sign and let's head to the emails. All right, so here we have it. You've been invited to sign the simple one page lease agreement template. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose review and sign. All right, so we can see that it already pre-filled in my name. And just for the sake of time, I'm just gonna jump down here and do the required fields. We'll do next, and then we'll choose the date, next. And let's go ahead and sign and complete. And accept and send. Now let's head over to that tenant's email. All right, we'll go ahead and review and sign the document. And we can see it already populated my name in my email. So again, just gonna jump down here to the bottom to officially sign and date it and sign and complete and accept and send. All right, so let's head over to Active Campaign and take a look what's happened over there. So here we can see in my contacts, my leasee is now there. And if we click on them, we can see they have been added to our master contact list and they are part of the new customer automation that we have. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing Active Campaign with Jotform Sign, let us know. If you liked this video and you got some value from it, be sure to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.